Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today we're going to learn about multiplying polynomials or find each prime. So if I was given this problem here, 6n squared minus 6n minus 5 times 7n squared plus 6n minus 5. Okay? Well, what I want to do is multiply all parts of my first parenthesis by all parts of my second parenthesis. So the first one here, I'm going to take my 6n squared, let's draw r so we know we can make a connection. 6n squared times a 7n squared, which comes out to be a 42n to the fourth power. All right, now 6n squared times a 6n is a positive 36n to the third power, okay? Now, 6n squared times a minus 5 is a minus 30n squared. So now I've done everything with the 6n squared, so let's deal with the minus 6n. Minus 6n times a, uh, a 7n squared is a minus 42, okay, 42n to the third power. Minus 6n times a 6n is a minus 36n, and minus 6n times a minus 5 is a positive, right? A negative times a negative is a positive. A positive 30n. Sorry, and this is minus 36n squared. I can't believe I almost forgot that. Oof. Okay. Lastly, oh, probably didn't leave myself enough room here. Minus 5 times a 7n squared is plus, uh, minus, minus there, minus 35n squared. Minus 5 times 6n is a minus uh, 30 N. And lastly, minus 5 times a minus 5 is a positive 25. Okay, that's a positive 25. Barely fit it in. Let's go uh, rewrite this. I'm going to rewrite a little more space here and uh, rearrange it so our like terms are next to each other. So highest degrees first, like terms next to each other. Highest degree is to the fourth power, so we have 42 n to the fourth. Then next highest degree is the third power, so we do plus 36 n to the third. And the other n to the third I see is a minus. 42 n to the third. And again, I put dots there to show that I brought that down. I don't see anything else to the third power, it's the second power. So we have a minus 30 n squared here, and a minus 36 n squared, and we have a minus 35 n squared. Lastly, it's just the ones with the n's. We have a plus 30 n and a minus 30 n, and then a plus 25 at the end. Okay? So this is a nice. Nice and big here, but all we need to do now is combine our like terms, and then we'll be done. So, <clears throat> first one here, uh, 42 n to the fourth power. I don't see anything else with the fourth power, so we can just rewrite that here, 42 n to the fourth. So now we have the third powers, 36 n to the third minus 42 n to the third. That comes out to be a minus uh, 6. So we have minus 6 n to the third there. Okay, we have minus 6n to the third. So now let's go deal with our n squareds, all right? So they just keep getting larger and larger. Uh, might be easier to see what's 36, uh, minus 36n squared minus 35n. That's a 60, 70, 71, is that correct? Yeah, 71. So minus 71n squared minus 30n squared also. So we have a minus 101n squared when I combine these three. Now, luckily, the 30n minus 30n is just 0, so they eliminate, and we're left, or we're left just a plus 25. Okay? So I'm double-checking here, make sure I got everything I got right. Oh, we're looking good. So our final answer is just 42n to the 4th minus 6n to the 3rd minus 101n squared plus 25. So let's recap. We're given our two, uh, our two parentheses to multiply, 6n squared minus 6n minus 5 times 7n squared plus 6n minus 5. All parts of my first parenthesis times all parts of my second parenthesis. When I distributed them out, I got 42n to the fourth plus 36n to the third minus 30n squared minus 42n to the third minus 36n squared plus 30n minus 35n squared minus 30n plus 25. I definitely recommend doing those arcs. They help make sure you got all parts there. So now I rearranged, um, putting my like terms together in my highest degrees first, and I used the dot method to make sure I brought everything down. We got 42n to the 4th plus 36n to the 3rd minus 42n to the 3rd minus 30n squared minus 36n squared minus 35n squared plus 30n minus 30n plus 25. 
We then combine our like terms. 36 n to the third minus 42 n to the third was a minus 6 n to the third. And minus 30 n squared minus 30 n squared, 36 n squared minus 35 n squared was minus 101 n squared. And then our 30 n minus 30 n eliminated, giving us our final answer here of just 42 n to the fourth minus 6 n to the third minus 101 n squared plus 20.